What's good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving back into the Christmas spirit of things, getting into WWE action figures and Christmas and buying and all of the BS that is coming up here at the end of the year, shopping for the holidays. And I just want to make you guys aware of some figures that you may not want to put on your Christmas list or some figures that I would personally leave off of my list if I were you guys. You guys know the other day we did cover, you know, figures that you should keep on your list and figures that you should totally seek out for Christmas. Today, we're going to do the opposite. Today, we're going to be looking at figures that I would leave off of my list if I were you guys based off of my reviews, based off of my personal experience with these figures and my past experience with other figures that we have gotten of these characters and things of that nature, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I only went with figures that were released this year and these are just some figures that I wanted to make you guys aware of, guys. Let's go ahead and start things off. I'm going with Elite 77 Ronda Rousey. Now, the reason I put Elite 77 Ronda Rousey on the list is simply just because we have her Ultimate Edition figure, right? We have her Ultimate Edition figure. Her Ultimate Edition has better articulation it has more interchangeability with it. It has better posing. It's just a lot better figure. Uh, obviously, the Elite 77 only has single jointed arms. The Ultimate Edition has double jointed. You do get the entrance gear with the Ultimate Edition. And I think the Ultimate Edition is actually really, really cheap right now. I think on Amazon, you can get it really, really cheap. Like, way cheaper than other Ultimate Editions. And I think it's constantly dropping. And it may be even down on price on Ringside. I'm not sure if it's still on Ringside or not. But that is something that you guys want to be aware of. If you guys don't have the Ultimate Edition and you were seeking out the Elite 77, definitely go after the Ultimate Edition hands down and do not include the Elite 77 Ronda Rousey. Next up, guys, we have a hot take right here. We have the Hall of Fame Jake the Snake Roberts. Now, if you guys do not own uh, Jake the Snake Roberts and, you know, other Hall of Fame Jake the Snakes or other Elite Jake the Snakes are kind of out of the price range or they're going for way too much, I haven't looked at the market for a Jake the Snake Elite figure, but I honestly just don't like the torso on this guy. I feel like they did him a really big disservice with the Daniel Bryan torso. Giving him the Daniel Bryan torso makes his abdomen look really short compared to his, you know, his long, thick legs. And the head sculpt's pretty good, I think, and the attires are decent, not the best ever, but I think there are plenty of other Jake the Snake figures that are much better, in my opinion, and I think those would be worth the sought after. Even if you have to pay a little bit more in price, I think the uh, other Hall of Fame or flashback figure that I think actually kind of goes kind of expensive is much better than this Hall of Fame one, so I would say skip over this Legend Series Jake the Snake. I called it Hall of Fame. I meant Legend Series Jake the Snake, and maybe seek out a different one. Next up, guys, is the WCW 2-pack with Bret the Hitman Hart and Goldberg. The reason I say this, it's just, uh, if you're a really big hit, you know, Hitman Hart fan or you're a really big Goldberg fan, maybe you want to seek this out simply for the interchangeability, for the accessories, for the moment, maybe keep it mocked, get it autographed or something. That'd be a really cool thing. But if you're wanting to open it up and display it, I just would not seek out these specific ones that come in a 2-pack. Uh, I'm not really big on the singlet color of, of Bret Hart. I think it's kind of eh. The Goldberg is solid, but I think the entrance greats is pretty good. You got the Elite 74. There's other different Goldbergs that I think you could seek out, especially if you want a WCW Goldberg, I say seek out the entrance greats version or, you know, do something like that. But the Bret the Hitman Heart was a pretty big disappointment for me. I just didn't like the salmonish color of the tights, and I would probably skip over this and not include it on my list. Next up, guys, we have a pretty interesting one here. We have no Top Picks Basics, okay? So you guys know the Top Picks Basics line with the different John Cena's and Rocks and Strowman's and and the Roman Reigns, and they usually have recycled head sculpts, recycled attires, and just whatever the case is. I just, I, I don't know, man. You guys know that the basic figures aren't that great anyway. Obviously, if you're shopping for your kid who doesn't really care about articulation, these figures are absolutely great, but for me, I just, you know, I'm definitely not going to be getting these simply because the head sculpts, you know, I have no use for them. I really don't have any use for them. Uh, I guess if you could get them for really, really cheap, and you wanted some crowd members, or you wanted something to do a setup, or you needed something for other reasons, maybe go for it, but uh, in the main case of it, I just would not seek out any Top Picks basic figures, so I wanted to include these just in case. Alright guys, getting into it here, the next one is pretty big and it's pretty controversial, but we have the Ringside Exclusive Bray Wyatt. The Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt figure. I do not like this figure. I think it is eh, you know. I just think that the basic is much better, and this is probably one of the most rare cases of where an Elite is worse than a basic figure. You guys know that the basic figure has a sculpted sweater, it's got the sculpted collar, it's got the nice head, you know, the head sculpt with the man bun. Uh, it just, it's got the khaki pants. It just looks so good. I really enjoy this Bray Wyatt basic. It's probably the best basic of the year. I'm not going to do a basics ranking video, but definitely this Bray Wyatt Firefly Funhouse basic is absolutely insane, but the ringset exclusive elite figure is just not up to par. It's got the black pants. The torso is not the best. Uh, it doesn't really have any sculpted details for the sweater. No collar. It's just not a look that Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt always had, and it's just not something you 
would commemorate Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt with. So, and, and the biggest thing is I think he's really, really tiny. He's super duper short compared to other Bray Wyatts, and he just isn't in scale and doesn't fit well with the rest of your collection. So, for me, this is a big one that I would leave off your list, guys. Definitely go with the basic over the Elite, and do not go after the Elite as far as Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt is concerned. Next up, guys, we have the WrestleMania Elite Edge. Now, you guys watched my review on the WrestleMania Elite Wave, and this figure is just, first of all, my torso is super loosey-goosey. The head sculpt just doesn't look like Edge to me. I think it's a bit off. A lot of people are comparing it to a Jax, like, test or another Jax head sculpt or something for Edge back in the day, and I can kind of see what's going on with that. I'm not big on this head sculpt. The torso choice just wasn't the right choice and the uh, you guys know that the this torso is super duper loose on mine at least it may not be a problem with everybody's but this figure is just skippable to me unless you just want the legs and you want to do all the customization and fix-ups on it which I would probably I'm probably gonna do myself just haven't gotten around to it but this is just a figure that I would wait until it goes way down in price this is why I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't put it on your Christmas list and waste you know a bigger portion of money when you can wait a little bit maybe wait till it drops down in price and then you can pick it up and then do the customization on it so that is is what I would do for the WrestleMania Edge. I would not have it on my list. Next up, guys, is Elite Series 81 Rock. Very similar to the WrestleMania Edge. The torso just isn't right. It's it's not the best head sculpt, in my opinion. It's not a bad head sculpt at all, but I think that if you wanted to wait on it, guys, wait on it to drop in price. If you could just sit on it for a little while, sit on that egg, wait for it to hatch in a lower market price, then, you know, go ahead and attack it. And I bet if you sit on this thing, you're probably going to be able to, you know, wait on it at retail. You know, at retail price, I would not pay, I don't even think I'd pay retail retail for it. I would wait a little bit longer. Maybe it drops at your local Walmart. Maybe it, you have to get it online or maybe aftermarket eBay for really cheap loose or something, but this guy needs a torso swap and uh, it's just not a good torso for the Rock. Again, if you're a massive Rock fan and you really want to add it, same thing for Edge. If you guys just really, really want it, seek it out, but it's just not one of those that I would seek out for everybody just straight up. So I would leave it off my list and just wait on this guy till he drops in price, then grab it and do your fix-ups if you want to and all that good jazz. So there's Elite 81 Rock. Next up, guys, is going to be Elite 82 Alexa Bliss. Now, this one may be a little bit controversial as well. You know, you do have the Women's Tag Team Championship, but if you don't care about the Women's Tag Team Championship, if you're not a huge Alexa Bliss fan, I would say just, you know, hold on to your Alexa Bliss. If you don't have an updated Alexa Bliss and you really want her in the collection, this is a perfect uh, time to grab this. But I personally would honestly go with the Elite 53 Alexa Bliss. I think that's a better figure in my personal opinion. Uh, you don't get the Women's Tag Team Championship, but I think it's a cheaper figure. I'm not exactly sure what she's going for. I could be wrong on this. I could be, you know, Elite 53 Alexa Bliss could be going for astronomical prices as far as the aftermarket is concerned, and I just don't know about it. But I would uh, not include Elite 82 just because I have other Alexa Bliss options that are better as far as Elites are concerned. But if you guys don't have that, then maybe this is something you want to look into. But I wanted to put, I have a maybe right beside her on this list. So maybe that's, you know, that that's where the maybe comes in. Maybe you have a, a reason you want to grab it. But this is just me and what I'm saying. And then last but not least, guys, it's going to be Elite Series 82 Rob Gronkowski. Now, this is a figure I just don't think anybody really needs. Okay, the only reason you would really want this, I think, is if you wanted to do some funny spot or some cool spot. You love Rob Gronkowski. You think he's fantastic. Maybe you're a Patriots fan, a Buccaneers fan. You really love Rob Gronkowski. Kowski, you want to add him to your WWE Elite Collection, this is a perfect figure to buy for you there. If you're trying to make a custom MDT, you want to throw the MDT style jacket on that figure, there you go. His jacket actually is really damn nice, but I would not pay a retail price just simply for the jacket. I would wait until the figure goes down in price, simply just like The Rock and just like Edge. Just wait till it comes down in price and then maybe grab it, but don't make your parents go out there and spend, you know, $20 or $20 plus on this figure when you can wait around on it. Possibly get it for cheaper on a figure that you actually want. Save that money. Get a figure that you really want. Put that 20 towards a figure you really, really want and don't waste it just simply because uh, I would wait till you, you know, you either have a really big reason to buy it or, you know, you want to buy something else with it. I don't even know what the hell I just said. But overall, guys, I think that pretty much does it for the not want list or the figures you do want to avoid putting on your Christmas list. At least this is what I could come up with from all the elites that we got for today, I think, or that we got for this year. Now, I'm not saying there aren't any great qualities about some of these figures, because I think there totally are some great qualities about some of these figures. I'm just saying I wouldn't put them on my Christmas list simply because there's other figures that you could get for, you know, to fill in these spots, and I think there are way better figures that you could put on your list outside of these. But getting into our random shout-out for today's video, guys, this is going to go to Dr. Cure. He says he didn't want Finn to get in too early, but we all know that he's going to spend $100 on the, on the new Finn anyway, and he's 
damn right, Brad. You guys know I'm going to seek out that Elite 82 Finn Balor. I already put it on my Christmas list to send over to my wife and family. And so, yeah, I'm definitely going to have that figure on there. You guys know me too well. I thought that was a pretty good comment. So, a huge shout out to Dr. Cure for that. Uh, I, I appreciate you guys stopping by the 2K video. Let me know what you guys thought of that down in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you think of my list here. If there's any figures that you would not want on your Christmas list or you don't think people should add to their list, let me know of those down in the comment section as well. I tried to think long and hard on it on some figures that, you know, you just don't really want to do. I think every other figure this year has been pretty damn nice, and I could see why people would put it on their list. But anyways, guys, I think I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I just said that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitter, and Instagram. Merry Christmas. You crossed the line, I've been beaten.